about Sor. Well, it's called the black mark. It's called the black market, but they're uh, they're really, but they're really really stocked. You can find almost uh, a uh, anything there. Location of Sor. Where is it? There's a sign right over there. Check it out yourself. Why don't you ever tell me anything straight out? Why don't you take a good uh, look around the area? <laughs> Just take a good look at uh, the ads and stuff around here. You'll figure it out. Did they actually tell me where the location is? Uh, the location of it? I don't think so. Uh, can we actually give him money now? I can't give him money. You've really got nerve. Take it! As always, thanks so much. You'll be a good junker. One of these days. Alright, now we can actually ask him more about our heaven. The location of it. It's on 17th Street in the HS, uh, HS District. I wonder if there's a way for us to actually locate it. But now we know where it is. 17th Street. Don't make me keep saying this. My information ain't cheap. I mean, you said it once. You can. Well, you already got your money. For the information. So I guess that's it, uh, right? Yeah, I guess that's it. Send Napoleon home. You've been really helpful. Thanks. Call me again if you need something. There he goes. Look for Napoleon. Is that how we're, uh, we're gonna be able to locate him? We're just gonna have to come here every time uh, we need him? Hmm. Interesting. All right, viewers. Before we uh, we continue on with the with the main game, I thought uh, we might actually go back a little bit and read uh, a little bit uh, of the entries that we haven't read. So yeah, continuing from uh, from automatic traffic system, a system which uh, maintains the entire transportation network of Neo Kobe, including land, air, and water routes. Uh, via direct computer control of traffic flow by the Alpha-1 mother computer system. In particular, the system's ASV, Automatic Safe Vehicle, routines work to prevent traffic accidents and congestion. They have boosted the efficiency of ground transport, uh, transport in particular uh, to, level not, uh, to, le to levels not dreamed of in the 20th century. The system has eliminated the need for public transportation. That's very interesting. I wonder if there's gonna be in the future, there's gonna be... Like, this is something that I imagined it. If they actually manage to make uh, uh, automated uh, transportation stable, the, uh, they actually might just uh, outright uh, ban, uh, you know, uh, manual... Uh, uh, traveling, unless they have uh, some sort of a permit. Or, at the very least, they am gonna have to travel outside of, uh, of a city, for example. I can, I can actually see that. I can see that. Uh, black taxi. What the? What's a black taxi? A term referring to illegal manned Taxi, T man, taxis. Well, it is illegal. <laughs> it is illegal here. <laughs> the word taxi usually refers to government-operated, computer-controlled, and manned vehicles. However, such taxis requiring personal uh, identification to board only operate in areas designed as uh, municipal data administration districts. Yep, it's pretty much the, just like I suspected. <laughs> they. 
generate records of where customers board and get out, thus making their use impossible or impractical for many uh, immigrants and illegal aliens. Yeah. Uh, on the other hand, black taxis require no identification and will go anywhere, making them extremely popular. As such, government officials have decided that uh, black taxis, though illegal, have formed such a sophisticated organization throughout the city that they cannot be ignored any longer and plans are being studied which would legalize their operation. <laughs> God damn, what kind of approach is this? You cannot ban it, you cannot, ma you cannot maintain it, just legalize it. And, uh, and tax the shit out of it. Uh, just like uh, Canada is doing with uh, with heroin. Yeah, that's a true story, by the way, viewers. Canada... I'm gonna try to... <laughs> uh, legalize heroin and, and tax whoever wants to pay it for recreational use, which is... Uh, one of the most, the one of the stupidest things that I've uh, ever heard. Uh, I think that's it for transportations. Mm. Culture and science. Science. Ooh, there's a lot here. Space development. Plans were made in the late 20th century to develop space resources for the betterment of mankind, but global warming, the catastrophe, and other factors which harmed the environment speeded this uh, trend significantly. The construction of the U.S. space station, Freedom, as well as the development of successful uh, fusion-based pr propulsion represented enormous steps forward in this effort. At present, a helium-3 mine uh, uh, to provide fuel for uh, fusion rockets is under development on the moon. I wonder if that's actually, like, realistic. Like, if we can actually mine uh, materials from the, from the moon that can help us with that. I really don't know. I don't think, uh, like, from what I know, I don't think there's... Uh, in terms of minerals, at the very least, I don't think we uh, there's anything useful on the moon. Gases, maybe. Minerals, probably not. In addition, uh, the new promise, the new promised land. Oh no, oh no. <laughs> uh, chosen people, the chosen people are gonna go to the moon as well. In addition, the new promised land project to create. Uh, Permanent colonies on Mars is in advanced stages. Goddamn. <laughs> uh, this game, yeah, you can actually see some... I can see the similarities with... Uh, with... Uh, well, I'm gonna call it the Blade Runner book. It's easier to say uh, to call it that. Even though it's not based on Base Runner. B bl uh, not based on Blade Runner. Blade Runner is based on it. Which is um, uh, do electric sheep? Uh, do uh, do Andrew's uh, dream of electric sheep? Which is uh, very interesting. Okay, this should be enough uh, reading uh, for now, viewers. Let's go ahead and continue uh, from where we left off. We've been looking around here. We've checked on the advertising advertising displays. Uh, show window. Your entropping ideas are on display. Many couples are uh, happily looking uh, over the merchandise windows. They're talking about Christmas presents, I'm sure. They are talking about pre Christmas presents, I'm sure. God damn. Don't let have a nice day correct your English, please. Correct your grammar. How nice! I hope I receive uh, some presents too. How about you, Gillian? Why would you you receive a present? You're, you're not a real person. You're a robot. Of course I want some. What would you like uh, to receive? A new navigator, wow! 
<laughs> a real babe with no uh, mouth circuits, you know? What? Okay, I would definitely would would have thought that you would want uh, you know want uh, someone to give you a head or something. <laughs> Damn, and, uh... Middle Gear didn't respond to that? He just took that? As is? Nearby people. There are many people who seem to be waiting for someone. That young girl over there. She's been waiting for some time now. Why don't you not keep an, attra an attractive woman like that waiting? Hmm. What is showing? She probably got stood up. God damn. How unfortunate. I couldn't agree more. I think I'll go uh, see how she's doing. Gillian, wait! You stay here. I'll be right back. Oh, are we actually gonna go there? Oh dear, there he goes. Oh, he's back. What happened? She gave me a... Uh, she gave me uh, tissues. Three little packs. Let's see. Passing out advertisement, was she? <laughs> wait a minute. There's a, a there's a video phone number printed on the back, five five six six six. All right, six 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 six. All right, I'm gonna call that. It says love line. Let's go. <laughs> We're in, viewers. We're in. Yeah, let's go ahead and uh, contact that number uh, before we do anything. I'm interested. I'm intrigued. We're gonna find um, <laughs> naked ladies or something. Uh, what was it? Five five six 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 six. No video. Hi, I'm Christy. What's your name, honey? Uh, um, John. <laughs> John what? John Dudu, yep. <laughs> Sounds about right. John D D Doberman. <laughs> Isn't Doberman a type of dog? That's an interesting name. What is it? Well, well fictional. What did you say? I said, uh... Phonician? Phonician? What's Phonician? Oh, come on. What's your real name? It's Gillian. Why would you give her your real name? Oh, yeah? How did you uh, finally get off uh, that island? No, I said Gillian. <laughs> what? I didn't get that joke. I'm just teasing you, honey. So, what did you call for? Love. <laughs> Uh, so, you're interested in love, huh? Yeah, that's right. Very interested, if you know what I mean. <laughs> oh, yeah? I know what you mean. You want love, don't you? Yeah, yeah, love, love. Do you know where I can get some? Sure, baby, I know where you can uh, get some. The question is, how bad do you want it? Goddamn. I want it real bad. Kojima, you motherfucker. How bad is bad? Let me put it this way. If I was a cat, I'd be cleaning myself. Uh, that wholesome speech that, uh, that Hayasha or whatever that, her name was when you contacted Konami, uh, that that was wholesome. It was ho a wholesome speech, and now it's all cr it has crumbled here. It has crumbled. It's it has crumbled. It has crumbled. Okay, I get it. Anyway, if you want uh, the real thing, I'll give you another number to call. Okay. Yeah. Okay, and I can get uh, the kind of love I'm uh, looking for there. Oh yes. You'll never feel so loved. The number is 396004. 
Three nine six zero zero four. Is that gonna be a scam? Most likely. Uh, yeah, sure. Let's try and call it. Oh, oh, four. Huh? The number you have reached is not in service at this time. Please check the number and dial again. This is a recording. JTNT. Did I not uh, dial it correctly? It was three, nine, six. Zero, zero. Oh, all right. The number you have reached is not in service at this time. Please check the number and dial again. This is a recording. J -T -T Maybe I cannot call her right now. Maybe I'll be able to call her later. Maybe I can kind of a cock. Maybe we can actually call her and tell her that the number was, uh, nobody was responding there. Let's see. Hi, I'm Christy. What's your name, honey? Hi, Christy. I'm Gillian. Oh, come on, little buddy. You know, you, you didn't call, uh, for a conversation. You should at least be honest with yourself. Well, I suppose you're right about that. Sure I am. If you aren't honest uh, with yourself, you'll lose uh, touch with reality. Wow, that's uh, truly profound. By the way, what do you uh, look like? <laughs> what are you wearing? <laughs> God damn. What I would... Uh, what would you say if I told you I was 5'10", with long, straight, blonde hair, and my measurements were 3, 8, 2, 4, 3, 6. What are these measurements, by the way? 5'10", she's really... She's really tall. I'm 5'11", by the way, viewers. <laughs> I don't think people find her, uh, t um, you know, tall, taller, p uh, p taller women attractive. I'd probably say something like, Shwink! And what if I told you I was wearing a black leather uh, teddy and thigh-high boots? If that were uh, the case, I'd probably say gulp or something similar. And if you said that, I'd probably counter with, Ooh, I wish you were here with me now. I'm so lonely. God damn it, Kojima. Or some, uh, uh, or some, uh, derivation there, uh, thereof. Derivation? Is that right? But that wouldn't be very honest. What do you mean? You're not a beautiful, sexy blonde? Oh, sure I am. I'm more beautiful and sexier than you can imagine. Then, uh, what do you mean about not being honest? I mean that I would rather perform a, a toenail surgery on myself than be alone with you. Wow. <laughs> wow. Oh. I'm so glad we had this conversation. It uh, sounded like you needed to take a, a reality check. Bye now, and better luck with uh, Marianne. Marianne? Who's Marianne? The number that she gave me? Toenail surgery? Damn. We got got. Let me see if, uh... If she's gonna respond in a different way now. Hi, this is Vangie. Hi, Vangie. I'm, uh... I'm Eon Gilseed. How can I help you? Huh? Isn't this uh, the love line? Yes, it is. Well then, uh, aren't you going to say uh, some provocative uh, commands or some uh, some elude half references? Well, normally I would. However, the political climate in the world in the world is just not uh, conducive to that sort of thing right now. People would get angry. What do you mean? What people? What are you talking about? It's just uh, the two of us here. Who would know? Oh, don't be so naive. Everyone is uh, watching everyone. Uh, everyone is watching everything we do and say. 
Well, in a way, you're crazy. No, I'm serious. They're listening and watching and judging. Haven't you noticed uh, what uh, uh, that whenever we talk about sex, we're restricted to making vague uh, double uh, intenders and bland illusions? Nobody is controlling what I say. Oh yeah? Then tell me why you called. What do you want? Uh, what do you want to do to me? Well, I want to. I want to get to know you better. If you know what I mean. <laughs> no, I don't know what you mean. Tell me clearly. I'd like to get closer to you, uh, much closer. Not wink, notch, notch. <laughs> no, know what I mean? I have no idea. I want to realign your tires. Boot your disc. Grease your baking dish. Ugh. You see, it's true. Now do you believe me? You're being controlled. You have no freedom. <laughs> my God, it's true. But they can't do this. I'm an adult. I pay my taxes. I have rights. Tell it to the Senate, crybaby. In the meantime, it uh, looks like you'll have a... Uh, uh, to bait your own hook. Goodbye. Hangs up. <laughs> Censored. As far as I'm... Uh, Concerned, all those politicians can just censored, censored, censored anytime they like. Fuck! <laughs> okay, that was funny. Uh, let's call again. I'm having a lot of fun with this game. In, I didn't think this is a guy uh, like I'm gonna have to interact with. Some like I'm gonna witness some experience something like that in the game. Are they not gonna answer? There's no answer. Uh oh. Damn. It looks like uh, the service is out of business. Uh, pro I or I probably got blacklisted. I'm using Turbo, by the way, viewers. Yeah, there's no answer. I guess, uh, <laughs> I guess that's that. Uh, let me call uh, the number 396004. Uh, I think that's the number, right? 6004. The number you have reached Yeah. Well, I guess, yeah. Probably gonna be able to do that uh, later. Maybe we're, I'm gonna have to advance uh, the game a little bit. Mm, yeah, I don't know. We'll see about it. But that was uh, that was funny. <laughs> that was funny. Gotta be honest. Uh, nearby people. We did check on the nearby people. There are many people who seem to be way waiting for someone. Look, there's a street performer over there. Why don't we go take a look? I know this guy. I think I've seen him uh, doing this before. Uh, it looks like Michael J. <laughs> Michael Jackson with an X? Looks like Michael Jackson. I always wondered what happened to him. Um, wow, that definitely didn't age well. <laughs> what happened to Michael Jackson? Oh boy. Gillian, I don't believe this is a, a performance. Why is he touching himself in that manner? Who? He's probably uh, watching, uh, you know, watching Home Alone. <laughs> That's why. He's watching Home Alone. That's why he's touching himself. I think there is something wrong with him. He may be dangerous. Let's move away. It's the holiday season. People are moving busily here and there. Mm, yeah, we're gonna have to investigate the surrounding area, viewers. Alrighty, viewers. Let's go ahead and uh, uh, read a few entries here. I actually didn't, like... Uh, I really apologize, viewers, for uh, for these uh, sudden cuts. Um, you know, while trying to actually read some of these segments, because uh, 
uh, I really, like, this is how I play my game. I try to actually interact and read about everything in the game, but uh, sometimes in a let's play format, uh, it's like, I really don't know how to present uh, these. Because I know there there are people, and uh, like, and thankfully, uh, p uh, there's a lot of people that confirmed this as well, that they actually like uh, the fact that I actually go into uh, some of these uh, entries, some of these dia some of these uh, reading materials that they they feel that's actually boring if they do it themselves. They would rather like hear it from someone and probably hear their thoughts about it. So. Uh, and I'm not doing uh, this thing like particularly because uh, people actually want that. I'm doing that because this is how I en enjoy my games. By the way, viewers, I really go go into the games, especially if the uh, the world is really like uh, compelling and uh, and I like it. Like uh, as I said, I'm I'm reading the uh, the uh, the book that's uh, uh, that uh, the Blade Runner. Uh, based itself on and uh, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of similarities and i i enjoyed uh, i enjoy i'm enjoying that book and i'm enjoying this world you can it's actually uh, like it builds up it's really 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 good and this is why i actually engage in these because i really find enjoyment in actually reading it and finding it out and see this uh, like similarities of how things are actually progressing since uh, you know we're talking about ideas and people imagining and people in in the 80s imagining how the future is gonna shape and w w we are really not that far from from uh, <laughs> from the 40s uh, by the way because we're uh, like we're uh, less than two decades uh, 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 in so uh, yeah. Oh, that's it, like, enjoying it, like, checking on all that is really interesting, so, um, yeah, um, I'm, I'm probably gonna, gonna give it a thought on how to actually, uh, g you know, go through these, maybe, like, maybe there's a, a, um, a better format, maybe, in the future playthrough that I'm gonna, uh, uh, that I'm gonna, uh, that I'm gonna try and employ, but for now, I'm gonna do this, is, uh, that, uh, uh, supposedly, in after every uh, uh, in uh, you know when I start rec my recording session, I'm gonna like spend like five minutes reading some of these materials until we go through them all. Well, until, until or until I get bored of it, <laughs> at the very least. So, uh, well, since I wasted all uh, three minutes already, so um, we're this. Uh, I'm not gonna read for long. I'm not gonna read for long, so we can actually continue with the game. A Mars research uh, chronology. Uh, all right. I, for, uh, I always forget that the, the confirm here is uh, is a different number than the confirm button for the uh, for the emulator. Mars, uh, a Mars research uh, chron chronology, August nineteen eighty eight. Uh, the Phobos project, Phobos one and and two, launched by the former Soviet Union, explore Mars and its two moons, Phobos and uh, Deimos. How many moons does uh, does Marsh have? Only two. Marsh is a big, a pretty big planet too. October nineteen eighty nine. Marsh, uh, 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 Marsh Observer launched by the U.S. Uh, studies uh, the planet's atmosphere and soil. April nineteen ninety seven. Pista Project unmanned probe retrieved uh, uh, retrieves data on Marsh. Asteroids and Comets. Project initiated by Eastern European Nations. That's definitely... <laughs> that is definitely uh, uh, inaccurate, because uh, East Europe, uh, they really don't have... Uh, <laughs> they cannot do shit. They cannot do shit. By their own, at the very least. Project initiated by Eastern uh, European nations. Sorry if, uh, for those who live in uh, in East Europe, <laughs> but that's a, that's the truth. Uh, but the catastrophe uh, for this transfer of the project to the U.S. Hmm. Coincidence? December 2005. Construction begins on uh, Wells Project, an unmanned robot pr production facility on Mars. Oh. Damn, this is pretty similar to, uh, to the, to the, uh, to the uh, Do Android, uh, Dream of Electric Sheep. 
June 2010, first satellite put into permanent Mars orbit. July 2015, construction begins of experimental manned base. Le Guin. Of course, the, all of these are fictional, by the way, <laughs> viewers. At least starting from, uh, you know, uh, Europe researching all of that shit. Or East Europe, that is. November 2022, construction, construction begins on Mars space uh, port. Uh, Murak, June 2025, completion of early manned base Herbert. December 2030, first full-scale Marsh base. Uh, Vinegat begins operations. January 2035, operations begin at uh, Asimov, the first mine of Marsh. Damn, that's pretty. That's pretty cool, actually. That is very, very cool. Continuing on, viewers, uh, with the game. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and try and explore, explore or investigate the area. I think. Oh shit! Confirmation is, def is definitely different. Like to show you viewers, uh, when I go into this, uh, yeah, you 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 guys are gonna definitely see the menu here cut. This is the emulation menu. For me to confirm, this is definitely a different button than the confir uh, the confirmation button here. So yeah, that's why. That's the reason why. Investigate the area. Even though it's uh, crowded, everything seems smooth and uh, orderly during this time of year. Hmm. Well, that's Japan, pretty much. Japan is, is uh, pretty ordered. Like, uh, people are there, like, uh, orderly. Like, they have uh, a moto. Hell, even, uh, like, during, uh, the, uh, the, the Qatar World Cup, uh, of course, uh, Japanese, uh, uh, Japanese supporter supporting their national their national team, uh, the like uh, the you know the cameras ca uh, caught them actually cleaning after themselves, which is uh, something that people never do. P and, uh, like uh, the uh, uh, the news outlet found that uh, really strange and uh, definitely shows that uh, you know uh, you know Japan definitely have a motto. Definitely bring like a, uh, a positive picture about Jap uh, the Japanese people themselves, which is uh, pretty cool. Uh, I, for myself, I really whatever action that I do, I really do them to actually to represent myself, and tr I'm trying to represent myself clearly. But I never even thought that uh, my action, if I do it in like a foreign country, would represent uh, my country in a negative. Uh, Away, but but like I, I like I, I gotta be honest. I don't even care. <laughs> but I do care about uh, you know the if, um, the representation. Like my own representation can affect uh, me and my immediate family, and that's really important to me. But uh, it really shows. It really shows. And Japan is pretty good, at least at that. No, they're not very good if. Uh, not, not very, they're not very good at, uh, at uh, you know, doing deals with, uh, with, uh, with the United States, you know, them not having uh, an army and whatnot. <laughs> yeah, that's a big mistake. There are neon signs in numerous languages. It looks like a sign factory. So that was intended, having it in Japanese as well. Yeah, with all these signs, you can't uh, see the stars. Oh, and I guess uh, there are uh, there are the laser signs as well. Advertising display. There are many advertisements. To, uh, colorful, uh, color, uh, careful observation of them can reveal interesting things. Sometimes, I really don't see anything interesting, really, other than you know the Konami and. Uh, uh, other than the billboard. Alton? Eat me? There's an advertisement for that uh, Plateau's Cavern that Napoleon was talking about. That Napoleon was talking about. Yeah, they're talking about the advertisement display. We already know where, uh, where it is, though, right? 
Like, we have it registered. Show window. Most are the hologram display type. Oh my, a display of uh, lingerie. Mm -hmm. Where? Over there, under that large billboard. What are you talking about? Those are uh, tights. I mean... Even, like, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Is it lingerie or whatnot? The most important thing, that they look uh, sexy. Isn't that the idea? Maybe it's, uh, you know, maybe it's different in the eyes of uh, our man Gillian Seed. Maybe he has uh, lingerie kinks and tights put him, uh, put him off or something. I don't know. He's a weirdo. Maybe that's Kojima. <laughs> maybe that's Kojima. There's nothing unusual in the area. All is calm and peaceful. Like, Kojima, it feels like Kojima sometimes projects himself in, in his games, by the way. I think, like, in Metal Gear Solid 2, uh, they, uh, he definitely, when he, when he was talking about, uh, uh, the character Rose, which was supposedly, uh, uh Raiden's girlfriend, and, uh, he was, uh, saying that <laughs> he was, uh, like, he, he, uh, like, he, uh, he presented her just like, uh, uh, this is what he thought about his, uh, his, uh, ex-wife. She was nagging all the time and, you know, maybe she has a reason for that? <laughs> maybe she has a reason for that? What a fucking Kojima. What a fucking Kojima. So I guess that's it, uh, for this area, right? Uh, we don't have anything to do other than... Like, move on. I don't, I don't even need to go to Napoleon. Uh, the only thing that I can do... Uh, yeah, we cannot even go and, like, advance into any of these shops or anything. So we can go to the other areas. I think we're gonna have uh, other areas that we can go to. Uh, Outer Heaven and uh, Plateau's Cavern. Uh, before, before I do that, I'm gonna go to Gibson's house. And see if Katrina, you know, managed to forgive us. Exit the uh, turbo cycle. This Gibson house. I wonder if Katrina's still angry. Katrina, are you in there? You again? What do you want? Go away. Maybe if I... I cannot get, show her anything. Yeah, I don't think we can do anything. Mm. Maybe if I do it more and more. You won't try any more of those, uh, uh sly come on, uh... Come on, right? I'm not. No, I promise. Okay, we're uh, we're doing we're progressing. I promise. Okay, you can come in. Okay. <laughs> uh, what uh, what uh, does the saying? Uh, how does the saying go? Uh, persistence uh, lays down resistance, or something like that. I guess that's uh, what we needed to do. This is Gibson living room. Well. I'm a little hesitant to, to welcome you, but come on, come in. <laughs> I, I don't blame you at all. Yeah, I don't blame you at all. Um, I won't... Uh, <laughs> I'm not gonna let Kojima get in into my house, that's for sure. Uh, 
Yeah, I guess now we can actually ask her... Uh, I kind of forgot uh, about the thing that we've asked her. I think we investigated. There are a few things here. Katrina, Outer Heaven, Outer Heaven Napoleon, Alice... I think she talked about the computers. Yeah. Yeah. But we do have uh, f uh, new entries, which are Outer Heaven and uh, and the caverns. Have you ever heard of a place called Outer Heaven? It's that place that serves uh, buffalo that I was uh, telling you about the other day. That's the first uh, I've ever heard of my dad going uh, to a place like that. He must have had some good reason. Well, we're gonna go there. In the future. I can't believe there are places that would uh, serve something like buffalo. They ought to close down places like that. Mm, yeah, if it's endangered species, I think... Like, as I said, I think I talked uh, about that before. But yeah, I think that's... Uh, it's uh, like uh, the government wastes a lot of money trying to protect these species. So if someone tried to do that, like b b they deserve harsh uh, punishments, not a slap on the wrist, like really ha harsh punishment, even for trying to kill, to trying to hunt uh, something. If they actually prove that they they killed killed it, then yeah, that's I I would say that put them to jail for decades. I don't care. Because, uh, uh, you know. Uh, uh, the ecosystem works in a certain way, and removing, uh, re removing uh, uh, certain animals can be a huge factor for the life cycle in this ecosystem, so. Something like that shouldn't be, that shouldn't be happening. It shouldn't be happening at all. Uh, Plato's Cavern. Isn't that the black market? My dad used to go there a lot. He said you could usually find some rare antiques there. Goddamn, that makes... Doesn't that make your father a goddamn criminal? I've never been there, but I hear it's uh, really dangerous. I, I gotta be honest with you, viewers. Uh, <laughs> I kind of own... Uh, I do own an... Uh, uh, an illegal... Uh, a Chinese, uh, <laughs> an illegal Chinese uh, replica of a uh, of a Kalashnikov. It's illegal uh, where I'm at, but uh, I'm, I only own it for self-defense, really. I only own it for self-defense, but it's not even fully automatic. It's uh, it's a really old uh, build. Like it's not even like the recent. Uh, uh, recent Kalashnikov. The recent Kalashnikovs actually look really cool. Even the Chinese ones, even Chinese replicas, they really do look extremely cool. Like I, I gotta be honest with you, viewers, I uh, n I never even try to shooting it that we uh, that weapon. Like uh, load it fully and shoot it. Like I like I did like make sure it's empty. Uh, I think when uh, when I fa when I first got it. And whenever I clean it, I rarely even clean it. Whenever it comes the case, uh, you know, I make sure that it's empty. Like, the, even the clip is... Uh, I only have a single clip for it. <laughs> uh, I think I can get more, but uh, I really don't need to. As I said, like, I own guns mainly for self-defense, and that's about it. And I keep it here. I do own three guns. Two of them are legal. Uh, well, a hunting rifle, which is, uh, you know, if you're 15, you can get a hunting rifle <laughs> here. Like, in, uh, like it's, uh, which is, uh, you know, it's not, uh, it's not something that, uh, uh, it, it's easy, easy, it's easy to obtain a lot of them, yeah, actually, not only, not only a single one, a lot of them. But, uh, if we're talking about pistols, uh, and, uh, and pistols, yeah, it's that's uh, that's a much bigger step. All right, I'm wasting a lot of your time, viewers, talking about weapons and whatnot. Hey, come on, have a nice day. Continue the with the gameplay, or I'm gonna shoot you my with my own Chinese replica of a clashing cough. Come on. Do you mind if I take a look in your study? Go ahead. 
<laughs> very, very reluctant. Ooh, she plays. Uh, what is that? Is that checkers or is that a? Uh, is that chess? To the uh, to. To the left of the screen. Don't tell me it's checkers. Checkers only play checkers. Only dumb people play checkers. This is Gibson's study. This is my dad's study. I haven't touched a thing. It's just uh, the way he left it before he died. A look at Katrina. Please, I'm used to being looked at, but it's always uh, through a camera. Then if people looking at you, then they're not looking at you. They're looking at your pictures, which is extremely different than looking at you directly. Around room, everything that's, uh, everything's neat and tidy, just like John. Wait, there's a personal computer here. Yeah, that looks like an old computer. We're gonna check it out later. There's a bottle, a photograph, and a chessboard on the shelf. So yeah, it's not a checkerboard. It's a chessboard. So he's smart. You can see the garden from here. A garden? Wow. His own house with a garden and everything. Yeah, but its face is north and it's uh, really quite, uh, quite small. Uh, face is north? Why would you care about that? You care about feng shui? <laughs> feng shui? Uh, I don't know if Japan actually uh, like take feng shui uh, uh, seriously. But in China, and I've been to China, and I would love to go uh, there sometime. Uh, I would definitely hope that uh, uh, the COVID situation definitely lessens. And I, actually, I can actually go there without fearing of actually uh, getting uh, COVID or anything. Uh, but I really, 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 really recommend people that, that they should go to China. If they have the, if they have the chance. Especially, they should consider going to China. China is a really, really interesting country, a really interesting country. And I've learned, uh, I've like I've went twice there, mainly because uh, you know, mainly for um, for work. Uh, but uh, the times that I visit there, I was really impressed. Like I was actually thinking of actually taking a vacation there, if <laughs> I if I take a vacation one day. <laughs> <laughs> if I take a vacation one day. Yeah, I've, uh, by the way, viewers, for the record, I haven't uh, got a vacation since 2011. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Which is I'm comfortable with, by the way. So I'm, I'm fine with that, pretty much. Uh, I kind of want to check on the computer later on. Because it's going to be important for us. I'm going to check on the computer later. Let's check on the bottle. It's still full. It appears to be uh, new. A bottle of what? It has the Konami logo. Well, uh, of some sort. What is this? Uh, what is this bottle? A bottle of what? It's still full. It appears to be new. Maybe we're gonna have to open it. A photo. Damn, that's him. Yeah, that looks like him. It's a photograph of John Jack Gibson. 